So, a couple of months ago, Disney announced this cosplay hotel thing where it's five grand or four to five grand. I'll show the prices later to go to this hotel for two days. And it's all based on that new garbage. Nothing with Vader. Nothing with the original trilogy. It's all this new garbage. So they released a video for this now. Boy. Okay, we're going to try to get through this here. Hey, Moral. Hello there. I'm super excited to see what you and your team created. We cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is a first of its kind vacation experience where you get to spend two days and two nights living out your very own Star Wars story. Oh, I'm just too excited. We, we gotta go. Yeah, outside. except for six grand or four to five grand. You don't tell the kid that part. Welcome to the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Wow. This is unreal. It's like I'm walking straight into a Star Wars movie. Except it's not a movie, right? You get to be in the middle of it all and in the middle of the action. And then there's activities you can do on here. Yeah, there are activities on board the ship. The first one that I'm really excited about is lightsaber training. Okay, now this saber here, they announced that, um, they announced this saber about a couple of months ago. And it's an actual, like, working, not... Not where you could cut anything with it, but it um, it comes up out of the hilt and turns into a lightsaber. So it's like the closest thing you would ever get to a lightsaber. And um, they were saying you were going to be able to get these and stuff. So now that this is opening, you, you're not going to. They're not going to allow you to get this. Get these sabers. So. This is what I mean. These people are just totally fucked in the head, man. Just total idiots. All right, let's keep going. Oh, my gosh. Here on the bridge, we also invite all of our... You, you notice how they didn't show any white kids on there? Look at this. We got a guy in a wheelchair here and all this. I mean... <laughs> These people are just... <laughs> guests to do bridge operations training and occasionally this is where we can go to hyperspace Punch it. <laughs> i guess she didn't know that the millennium falcon ride doesn't look already let you do that why is she making this a selling point you can already do that so i mean these people are just so we've really focused on making sure we have some of the best entertainment in the galaxy on board one of which I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like in here. It, it looks somewhat accurate, but, you know, it just looks like Mandalay Bay or something in Vegas. This doesn't really, the ceilings are what really ruin it. I mean, you can tell these are just, I don't know. I just, it looks really... It reminds me of if Star Wars was trying to do Chuck E. Cheese. Now we're coming up to the funniest part here, so. What it about is this pop star who is known throughout the galaxy for all. Yeah, screw off, lady. Really? Oh, they had a person in a wheelchair there. What's going on? I just popped through that door and I have no idea. <laughs> Look above and see the world slowly emerge before your eyes. Feel the as the Oh, God, this is so fucking cringe. All around. Look in your wallet. As we take five thousand dollars out, but if you're a white person, we don't take money from bigots. Change is coming. Something new is in the air. That's right. Screw you, racist. Come and fly <laughs> to the oh, 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 oh,
to the new world. Oh, man. Wow. There you are. Oh my gosh, I was just in there, the lights were low, and this... Look, look, look how excited this there. kid is. This, this kid's acting like he, he just found Amaranth on Twitch or something. I mean, I don't know, and this this freaking grandma lady here just... Incredible. Let's get you back to the launch pod in your home planet. Sounds great. All right. For five grand. All right, that's that one. Now we're gonna watch this crap again. <laughs> now we're gonna. Now I'm gonna show you <laughs> the Jedi training one. <laughs> so, based on what you've seen here, <laughs> would you blow five grand on this garbage? <laughs> It looked like you're on Chuck E. Cheese or something, and that, you know, the only difference between this and Chuck E. Cheese is some lady singing, <laughs> dressed up as a, oh, I forget what that race is called on there, but, oh, man, we are so screwed when it comes to Star Wars, I just, all right, so this is the lightsaber training. Here we go. Welcome to the Lightsaber Training Pod. So excited this to have you insane. here. This looks unbelievable. We have been working on this experience to have a whole brand new way for our guests to experience this ancient art of the lightsaber. Can I hold that? Absolutely. That's mine? Please, okay. please. Okay. This is for you. So do I turn it on? Or go what, for it. What do right, I do here? right there. How do I turn the saber on? Oh. oh. Alright, so, so right you're, right, you're right there. You're facing you're here. Face off against the remote. Oh my god. Welcome to laser tag, kids. They couldn't even afford to put drones in there that do this, like on the movie, those little balls. Look how lazy and that shitty is this is. Welcome to the bridge of the Halcyon Star Cruiser. This looks so cool in here. Here in front of the systems, this, this looks like a kid's playset. You actually get to push all the buttons. You can actually change change the settings, control the ship. But you know, we can really use some help defending the ship. Are you up for it? I'm definitely up for it. I don't know. You should trust me to do it. You're going to be actually guiding where we're where we're aiming. So you're okay. going to aim, and I'll fire. Okay. All right. I would love to take it to hyperspace. All right. Just don't let me mess this up. You got this. Okay. So, you know, just give that lever a strong pull. Okay. Oh, man. All right. So let's look at the uh, pricing, pricing once again for this crap. So. Start planning your board's case. There we go. So here's the pricing for what you saw. That watered down Chuck E. Cheese crap. Imagine paying, imagine thinking people are going to pay this. So here's my prediction of this crap is that when this first comes out, it's going to be a big rush, unfortunately, and it's mostly going to be the YouTubers and people trying to review this crap and get a get some sort of a, a, a you know a head start on somebody else to get views or whatever. And then I think after, I think after that, I think it's gonna pretty much die off because, I mean, look at these prices. 
And look at the quality of how that looks. It looks like shit. It just looks so bad. Universal is going to kick their ass. I just couldn't imagine paying these type of prices. This is just crazy, man. I just... <laughs> People are so screwed. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine paying this these prices for this shit. Now, what would make it worth five thousand dollars? Well, if I was to open my hotel room door and see Natalie Portman lying in in my bed, maybe. Um, besides that, I don't I don't see. It, it, the worst part of this is, and they're hiding it. You notice they're not showing this. They're hiding it. But it's based on this new garbage. If they put, if they had done this with Vader and the original trilogy, this might have done somewhat better. But it just looks so shitty. Like I, I've seen people that do cosplay that make the buildings better and it, I mean that looked like a kid's play set what they were showing in there and and you mean to tell me they couldn't afford drones and put them in those little balls like on um, a new hope when Obi-Wan's training Luke and have the light showing I mean all they did was put laser pointers in some little panel thing and aim it around what cheap asses well I give this six months to a year. Like I said at the beginning, sadly, there's going to be a huge rush to go here. And then I just see this plummeting off. I just don't see this being worth the money. All right. I um, guess that's about it. Uh, Disney can rot in hell and burn for all I give a fuck. Thanks for watching.